I look so sweaty. Hi guys! Later tonight, me and Howard are taking a flight to Singapore. We're going home from Asia, uh, but we're stopping in, in Singapore for 24 hours and I will film what we eat and what we're up to while we're there. But first, I would like to show you this gorgeous place that we have been staying at for the last couple of days here in Bali, which is called Jungle Room. So I feel like this place, Jungle Room, is perfect for any travelers that are eating vegan or vegetarian because they don't even serve any meat at this place. They have an amazing juice bar where everything is vegetarian. I think about 70% of what's on their menu is vegan. We tried some of their bowls, how it had the, this charcoal burger that was amazing. They have yoga every morning at 9 o'clock. It's really a super nice place to stay here. just thought I'll Put this in in the beginning of the video just in case you are traveling through Bali. I will catch you guys a bit later when we are going to Singapore. Hi guys, we have arrived in Singapore. We arrived last night. Here is Howard. He will be joining me today. And as uh, we came out of the airport last night, late in the evening, uh, we grabbed a taxi to go to this hotel that Howard have uh, uh, chosen for us to stay in. And as we entered the taxi and Howard uh, said where we were going, the taxi driver immediately said, Oh, not a good area, not a good area. And we were like, Oh no, why? What do you mean? And he was like, Well, this is where all the brothels are and all the prostitutes and all like um, scummy. This is a very scummy area. But to be honest, I don't think it's that bad. I feel like, you know, I have lived in East London for a really long time. And East London, when I moved there, used to be like a really rough area that no one wanted to go to. Uh, but those areas are always the ones that uh, end up becoming the hip and cool and urban area. So because I'm an East London girl, I kind of um, feel at home in these type of areas. So. Um, yeah, it's not that bad at all. And the hotel is, is really clean, It's it's got everything you need for one night. And also, to be honest, I don't want like a really fancy hotel to stay in when we're just here for one day. Because then I would just spend the whole day in the hotel. So this was the perfect uh, hotel for us for this one night stay. I'll show you what we can see outside our window. They actually had in this hotel like um, instant coffee. The creamer in the coffee like blend was non-dairy so that was pretty good. I'll show you a little tip tips for traveling in Asia as a vegan. Uh, this uh, is coconut milk in a little container and it's great to have in the coffee. It does not separate or anything as long as you blend it stirred in well together. Even if you don't have a fridge where you're staying you can have it as it's enough for like one or two cups of coffee. Okay we're going out now. So this was the street with all the brothels and where all the pimps were hanging out when we got in last night. And we were trying to find somewhere where we could have breakfast, but it was not so easy because most places had no writing in English and it was very hard for us to figure out what was vegan and what was not. But we managed to find this place where we got some toast with peanut butter. And I discovered that um, peanut butter toast dipped in soya sauce is actually really amazing. <laughs> then we made our way to the Indian quarters. Oh my god, that was intense and so sweaty. It's I think it's like 32 degrees in the shadow at the moment and I've got like sweat all down here, I'm like sweaty, it's just dripping. It was really cool though, yeah, but yeah we had to take a break so we're currently just sitting like here on a bench and we got two cold beers that we're going to drink. Howard has lost weight in life from the heat. Is everything uh, vegetarian? 
vegetarian? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is there any milk or egg or no? Everything is vegan. Yeah. Oh, amazing! Yes. That's so good. I think that food was exactly what we needed, right? Yeah, it was super good. It was really good, um, but we were so hungry when we came there that we did not even look around. And it was actually loads of vegetarian and vegan places around in that mall, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we could have actually looked around a little bit more before we settled on where to eat. But I think we made the right decision because this place was so authentic and so nice and the stuff that worked there was super nice. And now we're going to a more like touristy area of Singapore. So we're leaving like the Indian quarters. We have been walking around like for a really long time and it's so warm. Our destination was this uh, rooftop bar where we could uh, like see everything like all of Singapore and where they had a pool because we got swim clothes with us so that we could chill out there and cool off before we're taking our flight but uh, once we got there to this place that's called the lantern we went into the bar and we were like oh can we use the pool and they were like uh, no that's for guests only for the hotel and uh, the drinks were like $22 each for like a beer and so I got really disappointed and grumpy. We're sitting here like in this spot that is actually really beautiful, but I'm so warm, so we're just like taking a break. I've even taken my shoes off. I'm really disappointed, but you know, it could be worse. I'm sitting here with my favorite person, so it could be worse. I feel a lot better now because we've had some water, we had some melon. And now we're sitting here where it's a bit less uh, crazy. It's uh, definitely a place that you should go with a lot of cash. And we've just been on a long holiday, so we've already spent our cash. So we have a little bit too little money. We're on a budget. But that place we went for lunch, each dis dish was like $6. Go to that place if you're on a budget like us or if you just want some great local food. And we found another uh, vegan place that we're going to go and grab some dinner before we head to the airport so yeah we're just gonna chill here for a little longer and then we're heading off to vegan bowl it's closed the place where we're gonna eat is closed but we're gonna find somewhere to eat now should we have a look here well, uh, we found a place where they uh, have uh, some vegan stuff on their menu, which is great because so much, so many places are closed. So it's really good that we found somewhere to sit down, and they got aircon in here. And uh, yeah, I think this was uh, it's, it's uh, looking like uh, it could be really good. that I had in that restaurant which I actually really good it said on the menu that they had the best pad thai in the city and it was actually like the best pad thai that I have ever had before sometimes things does not go exactly how you plan when you're traveling and today we had two things that did not go to plan it was first um, that we could not have a swim and then that the restaurant that we wanted to go to was closed so when two things like that happens in a row that you did not plan for we just felt like 
yeah, quite bummed out. But we've had a really good day, if I think back on it. It was fun and so nice to see the little India area and uh, to sit and have like a beer on the street side, which I haven't done since I lived in London. So I felt really like <laughs> a London street rat all over again. That was nice and we've had some really nice authentic Malaysian food. I mean, what Howard said earlier was that if we had somewhere to go where we could just rest for a bit, then we could have handled the heat a bit better, but I mean, we were going to that pool, but then it, we could not go that there. That was our plan to yeah. chill there, but then, yeah. Um, but it's been a nice day anyway, and yeah, it was a bit harder than I thought to find vegan food here. On a Sunday, we're here on yeah, a Sunday, on a Sunday with yeah. a lot of stuff closed. Uh, we managed, we had a great lunch, we had a great dinner, we had um, absolutely okay breakfast. <laughs> and we had to catch the uh, flight, so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye!